What's up everybody? It's Nick from Mining Office. I hope you're having a great day. If you guys have been following the channel, you probably know I recently got this RX 580 8 gigabyte. It's an XFX card. It was sent to me by Xandercoin Mining. Thanks again. So uh, I didn't have much room in my other rigs here and my, uh, my computers, so I wanted to build myself another rig. AAA Wave were cool enough to send me a white sluice frame. I tried to get a motherboard CPU RAM combo on AliExpress. That did not really work out. Uh, I will spare you guys the details. However, we did get an Octominer X12 Ultra. So this is perfect. This is gonna be our next rig, support some more cards. Let's roll the intro, get this thing unboxed, and we'll get straight into the video. Let's go. And here we are with the X8 Ultra unboxed. I'll give you guys a few close-up shots here. It's very sleek, very good looking. And I have all the equipment here I'm gonna need to get this guy set up. So first off, I have a HDMI cable. It's a bit overkill, it's pretty long, but I just wanna be able to hook it up to that monitor there. Uh, just to get a readout at the beginning, get this thing up and running. So we got that. Uh, we got some stickers that were sent to us. These are some older ones from Caveman Mining. And uh, these I just got from Max Voltage actually, a little holographic one here. So these are stickers that are gonna be going on this Octominer case ideally. Uh, if anybody wants to send stickers, this is where they're gonna go. Uh, next we have a just a cheap ethernet cord I found at my local store here. And here you'll see I have a power cable. So we'll get to that for a second. It's the power cable for the server PSU. As you guys know, this comes with cables that are all the right length. I don't have many cards to put in here, but we'll definitely need a few of these cables. Uh, so it's cool that they're all set to length and already cable managed basically. That's very nice. And in here you have the 3 to 1 adapter uh, for your server PSU. However, this is to be used with 240 volt, which I don't have here. It's going to be used with a normal 120 volt. Just put this back. And uh, for shipping reasons, Octominer actually did not send us any of the server power supplies. They're going to be coming separately this week, but I couldn't wait to make the video. But they come with server power supplies exactly like this. They're 1,200 watts on 240 or 900 watts on 120 volt, and they are platinum efficiency, so really good. We should be ready to get up and running. The last thing is the SSD. So what I did is I followed the hobbyist miner's guide to flash hive on here. I'm a total noob, so I'll link that up in the corner over there. I flashed hive, I exported my rig config file, right, for the rig, and then I put it on here as well afterwards. So I slid that back in. That should be the latest version of hive. And with that, we should be ready to go. We won't put in any cards for now and I will go through the manual just to make sure I'm not missing anything or screwing anything up. Okay, we should be ready to go. The server PSU is plugged in. Uh, I have the HDMI cable plugged in. I'm oh, sorry, that's my mic cable. And we also have the ethernet in there. So this should be the start button. Oh my Lord. Holy moly. That's insanity. <laughs> okay, so I am now going to go on my HDMI switcher here. It'll be input one. This is really handy. You can have one HDMI. I'm trying to make a video. All right, so hopefully you guys can hear me now. Um, I went on Hive OS. I turned down the fan speed for this to 20%. They were all at 100 by default, so that was just like a hurricane in here. I've I've never heard anything as loud as that. So um, it's good to know that these fans are powerful though, so that's a good thing. Um, they are now set to 20%. I have no cards in there. Um, on my screen, Hive OS is working. Everything's good, so that passes the check. So here, I'll show you guys that. That's what my screen looks like. I just have no flight sheet, so that's the next thing I'm gonna do. Actually, let me get this open. I'm gonna slap in the RX 580 at this point, so I'm gonna shut her down. I'll open it up. I'll put in the 580. I'll just get it mining on the side, just up and running, and then we'll go over the features of this Octominer server case. This is the main point of the video. Um, I'll be going over Hive OS in another video, the RX 580 
hash rates for Ethereum Ravencoin, another video. Uh, it's gonna be long enough as it is, and I really wanna focus on the Octo Miner here. So here we are. The RX 580 is up and mining Ethereum for now. I just wanted to get it up and mining. My next video will be testing this out on Ethereum and Ravencoin, uh, so I can't wait for that. But again, let's concentrate on the Octo Miner. So, as you guys know, this is an X12, which means you have space for 12 GPUs here, okay? So this is the back plane, which allows for a 10 additional GPUs on top of the motherboard here, which has space for two, all right? So that's great. Uh, in front here, you have these high CFM Delta fans. As you guys already heard, they are super powerful, so I won't even spend any more time on them. Uh, a feature I really like is this little display here, this little Bosch smart board here that has your humidity, the air temp in out, power consumption, all that great stuff on this little uh, display screen here, so that's fantastic. And here you see they have a uh, custom breakout board with three hot swappable server PSUs. So like I said before, they didn't send me them yet. I'm gonna receive them next week. Luckily I had a spare silver power supply, which I was able to put in here and run for the time being. So that's pretty cool. Uh, when I get the other ones, I'll literally hot swap them. So if you guys want, I'll make a short on that, just showing you that functionality. I think it'll be pretty cool. One complaint I do have, or actually two, the first one is that it's quite hard to get the GPUs in here properly, uh, getting those two little pins seated in there and the PCIe aligned. So it can be a hustle to get those in. And it's not super easy to identify what cable goes to what here. So they tell you to insert these in a certain way, the longest first um, going all the way to the shortest. However, it's, it's not easy to follow all these cables back. It looks easier than it is. So maybe I should have put this GPU all the way over there, but whatever, it is what it is. We'll figure it out as we go. It's a very small complaint. And uh, overall, this is really great. Uh, a small thing you can't see, because I put the GPU there, is there is no CMOS battery. However, you don't really need it. Unless you're playing with settings in the BIOS, you have to change with this thing. You should be good to go. The Octo Miner also comes with this metal bracket here that goes from side to side. This is to secure the GPUs if you want to stand this guy up vertically. So you can do that. Uh, as you guys see, I have it horizontally here, but uh, yeah, if you want to put it vertically, you should put this guy in, and I think I'll put it in anyway. Uh, it'll just help with the cable management, I think. So I think that's a pretty complete overview of this Octo Miner. Uh, it's a very complete server case, like I said, all in one. It's pretty much plug and play. Normally it comes with the three server PSUs back there, so it's already just a question of plugging this bad boy in slapping in your GPUs and going for it. So that's about it. Um, HiveOS was pretty easy to set up. I recommend flashing the latest. And after that, you're really golden. So uh, look forward to this RX 580 video coming up next. As of now, I'm not 100% sure what other GPUs I'll put in here. Ideally, I mean, these motherboards, I'm using four to one splitters on this one and even that one down there. And they've been having slight stability issues recently. Every once in a while, they'll crash and I'll have to reboot them. So what I'm thinking of doing is reducing both of these rigs to six, which is what these motherboards can support natively. Um, and putting the rest in this Octo Miner. So I can definitely do it. I also have two cards in this PC, so I'll take one out of there. Uh, it's just a question of figuring out which ones I want to put in there. Also considering that in Hive OS, you cannot see the VRAM temperatures of, you know, 3070 Ti's, 3080's, 3080 Ti's, of which I have here and over here. So guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you think I should be putting in this OctoMiner case in terms of GPUs, and let me know what feature you like the most about this case. I'll see you guys next time for the RX 580 video. Mining Office, out.